Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in August of last year, I let you know that Microsoft officially confirmed that Control Panel is being deprecated in favor of the Settings app video will be linked. Now in regards to this, if we just head over to the Control Panel, which is a legacy aspect of the operating system, as you may well know, and we're heading to the keyboard settings, hidden quite deep in Control Panel, we get these character repeat, that's the repeat delay and the repeat rate settings. Now, it seems according to Phantom of Earth, who spotted a new hidden feature in last week's Dev and Beta channel inside of Preview Builds, that these two settings are going to be moved into the new settings app. So this is just another indication that Microsoft is intent to deprecate the legacy control panel in the future. And this is just another feature now that's moving over to the new modernized settings. So if we just head to an image provided by Phantom of Earth, here we can see keyboard character repeat delay, keyboard character repeat rate. So those two legacy components are now being moved into the accessibility keyboard settings in the settings app. And the feature is hidden currently. So it's code that Microsoft is working on internally and hasn't yet enabled for official testing. And at this stage though, if we head back to the control panel, the cursor blink rate, which is part of these settings, which basically shows you how fast your um, text cursor can blink, is not available in the settings app. So if we head back to that, we can see that cursor blink rate is not available. So um, this could be a good reason why the feature is still hidden because Microsoft is still working on it. And if and when they do roll this out to a stable channel update and with a stable channel update there's a good chance that all three of these settings would be available in the settings app but it's still early days it's a hidden feature so it hasn't even made its way into official testing but i thought that was interesting in regards to microsoft confirming a couple of months ago that control panel is being deprecated in favor of the settings app so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one